Okay, so we are going to, um, in this video, we're going to talk about classifying polygons. Um, so this is going to be really heavy on some vocabulary. We have polygons. First of all, a polygon is a closed figure. made of segments. So <clears throat> this would be a polygon. This would also be a polygon. That would not be a polygon because it is not closed. Okay. We have um, different types of polygons. We have what are called convex polygons and we have concave polygons. Convex polygons <coughs> are um, polygons in which no line Containing a side of the polygon passes through the interior. of the polygon. Kind of wordy, however. And for our purpose, I'm just going to get rid of this word right now. I'll bring that up in a couple more lines. Okay, so the different are convex <clears throat> would be something like that. So if I were to extend all of these sides out in any direction, Notice none of the purple goes into the interior of the polygon. So that's why this is a convex. A concave means that you have a side that is caved in. And it's funny, but the abbreviation or the definition rather is polygon that is not convex. Okay, so something like that would be considered a concave. So think of if it has sides that are caved in. So if I were to extend my sides out, look what happens here. This extension of this goes into my original polygon. So that's why it is concave. We also have some other vocab of an equilateral, which means that it has all congruent sides. And we have equiangular, which means that we have all congruent angles. <clears throat> If you have a figure that is that is equiangular and equilateral, it's called a regular polygon. And I would say most of the time this is what we are actually working on. So a regular polygon is where it is all congruent sides and all congruent angles. It's your typical figure that if you were to purchase something, a stop sign would be a regular polygon. Well, this is a crappy stop sign, but give me a break, okay? So that means that all the sides are congruent. And then, of course, all the interior angles would also be congruent. 
So if it says regular, then that's what that means. Okay, all the sides are congruent, all the angles are congruent. You also need to know the different names of them. So very quickly, we're going to create a list of all the regular polygons. So regular polygons. If we have three sides, four sides, five sides, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve sides. Okay? A three sided, we know it's a triangle, but specifically for a regular, it is called. Um, so it's a triangle. I'm going to get rid of this word regular. Get rid of that word regular. So any three-sided polygon is called a triangle. Any four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. And that is what this chapter is primarily working with, is special quadrilaterals. So that's where we get into the squares, um, rectangles, trapezoids, etc., the special ones. Five sides is called a pentagon. Six is called a um, hexagon. Seven is called a septagon. And that one kind of varies. You might see seven written with a different word like heptagon as well. Eight is an octagon. Nine is a nonagon. Ten is a decagon. Eleven is a non decagon. Decagon. There we go. I believe twelve is called a dodecagon. I honestly might have to check those two to vary to verify. Um, just so if we're looking for your given, hey, this is an octagon, you need to understand that your figure is going to have eight sides.